Welcome everyone to another video and I'm so glad to present to you Super Power Script. Well, it's actually Power Script 2.0. And uh, what's different on this one? Is this. We don't need config mainnet JSON anymore. So there's a few differences. So I'm gonna try and guide you through this. Um, so in here you put uh, your node name, your wallet, your provider, your number of units you want to do, where you're going to save your post, uh, the file lock, you can name it whatever you want, max file size, if you're using multi-GPU, this will be 2 gigabytes and so on. So gRPC, listeners, this is the port for uh, SMAP, this is the default ones. So you can change for whatever you want. Uh, this uh, usually is a uh, one to seven zero zero one, but if you want remote monitoring, then it needs to be zero. The proof is settings. This could be maximum of two eighty eight, but if your post is one terabyte, one ninety two is more than enough. The threads. This is how much threads you want to locate for your. CPU for the um, proofing. Um, I use zero, so it's going to use all the threads, but it's up to you what you want to do. You can still use your own custom config mainnet. For, for example, if you want to run private nodes, you're going to need a custom config JSON. TC port, in case if you need to, to change. This is the default for the log files, and this is where your ghost space mesh is going to be. I usually use same folder. Further down in here, you can change the number of peers you want to locate. This works really well for me, and I'm, I have 10 nodes in the same computer, and I have no problems getting rewards, but it's up to you if you want to give more peers or not. So if you are already a PowerScript user, um, all you need to do is copy from here, max file size. So copy all these settings here till the end, and we're just gonna copy here. So I'm gonna select everything again, and past. Save and run your node. It's as simple as that. But let's, let's do it for me. And here I'm going to do node 10. I'm just going to upgrade. So I'm going to my node 10. And I'm going to delete the config file as I don't need it anymore. Going to edit. And I'm going to max file size. Here we go. So I'm going to select from here everything. And I'm going to pass the new settings. Now I'm going to edit my ports. So, one here. This is the port I'm going to use for this node. This is my proofing. Everything seems all right. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to start the node. Now this is the part is going to confuse you because you're going to have another config mainnet JSON. There's two reasons for this. One, in order for you to use a config mainnet JSON yourself, you need one to be already there and you need to the script to allow you to have. And two, you can control the peers. Uh, let me open actually in here instead uh, so you can see better. And here we go. So in here, you can control how many peers you want as well. Like I said, you do that on the script at the beginning, but if you want to change in the future, you can you can do it here. And if you want to do your custom config mainnet, you can just replace or edit this file. 
So the node is running, and uh, I want to show you another example here. You can see they're all running in the same way. And uh, that's it, guys. You're now on a super power script 2.0. I hope this video is helpful. If not, guys, uh, give me a comment down below. Well, Join me on the Discord at Space Smash server and uh, there's people there that are already using the script and they'll be able to help you and of course I'm also there. See you soon.